Hi, this is Paolo from the MB Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make re spaces like the ones in the track Come Together by Urban Dawn. So, this is the original track. And this is my recreation. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so this sound is actually three layers. Here's the first one. The second one. And the third one. Which actually looks like it's the most significant one. And that is because this sound was made in three different tries. Uh, first, I tried creating a reese only with two saw waves. Then um, I made it a little bit more complicated. I did two saw waves with noise, but obviously the post processing is way more elaborate. And then the third iteration of this try of the sound uses two monster two wave tables. And even more post processing, as you can see. But I decided to layer the three together because I thought it had really nice texture and everything is processed in a group. Cool. So in this video, I am going to be showing you the thought process and how to make each layer and then how to process all of them together. So let's begin with the video. So in every single sound, we're going to be holding an F sharp zero. And now let me show you zero. Okay, so here I have initially a patch. It's just a saw wave, and I'm going to load an, another one on oscillator B, and I'm going to detune each of them minus 55 and 55 positive, so they have this phase cancellation effect. I'll just bring the random phase all the way down also. And what we're going to do is we're going to increase the pitch bend range. And we're going to automate this pitch bend. So in the DAW, this curve looks like this. We spent this first half of the beat in the default pitch, but then we quickly escalate all the way up to 12 semitones. And then we go back down and then we just completely drop it uh, at the end. Cool. So now let's go back into Serum. And actually, this is it for Serum. Uh, now let's just do some post-processing. So the first element of post-processing was using a filter. And in this case, I'm using auto filter. I'm using a bandpass filter with a 24 decibels per octave gain reduction, 32% of resonance. And I'm modulating the cutoff of this filter. Kind of in a similar way to the pitch modulation. And this is the shape that it follows. As you can see, it rises and then it falls. And then I'm just stacking three different OTTs um, after that filter. All of them are in the default preset. And this is essentially race number one. Now, of course, it's not the best wrist ever, but it was just me trying to figure out the rate of this wrist. Because uh, when I was making this, I didn't know exactly how to pitch this. I thought it was going to be one semitone up on B. But actually, it, it, it was a little bit slower. Then I tried doing one semitone and a little bit more. But then it started to sound a little bit too out of tune. So what I ended up doing was trying to detune them an equal distance, positive and negative, like this. And that actually sounded better. So from here, what I did was duplicating this patch and then adding noise. And once I had this, I just started stacking more pulse processing, which is exactly this channel right here that we have. As we can see, it's just a duplicated serum 
with noise, there's actually one boost in the sub. So let me show you what difference that makes. If we don't have that, there's less distortion. So yeah, it's just adding noise and then a big boost in the sub. So the saturators pick that sub and distort it more. And so now let me walk you through the pulse processing of this patch. So I'm just gonna clean this real quick. Um, this is the layer that we just did. And then this is the duplicated version of that layer. And I'm going to show you the pulse processing. So I'm gonna turn this off and then we're gonna go through them one by one. So as you know, this sounds like this. It just sounds like it has a lot of sub, but that's because of that boost. Um, and so now I brought this level down because I didn't want it to go into the distortions uh, being very loud. Then we have a similar filter. Again, this follows um, kind of the same shape as the other um, filter, as you can see goes from 155 to 189. It's the same auto filter. Like this really is just a duplicated version of that channel. And then we have erosion. And what erosion is, it's just a noise generator to happen after this filter. Now, the next thing um, was adding an utility. And then I was just testing uh, different gains because once you have lots of saturation and distortion, you can change the way the sound uh, interacts with those distortions based on how much gain does the input have. So I just added this utility to experiment. It ended up not being used. Um, then we have one more filter, which is again, a copy of that, but now it contains a little bit of noise um, in those frequencies. Then we have a phaser, uh, which let me see if I have some gain here. I don't, um, I'm gonna turn on trash, yes. Um, which this gain changes how much of this sound goes into trash. Um, then this phaser changes a little bit of the resonances of the sound. Then we have more noise and more phasers. And then we have one big boost on this harmonic. And then on trash, what we have here is uh, I was just experimenting with different modes of distortion. This really is nothing that I did on purpose. Um, I was just experimenting with the distort uh, folder. I found this rubber hammer one. This is the wave shaping that it has. Uh, drive, it's all the way up to 10 pre, it's 15.5. And really I didn't do anything else. Um, then again, we have the three stacked OTTs. Uh, but as you can see, the first of these half and the second one's half, then again half. But then we boost the time in the output just so we have more gain on the output. And the time is so we have a shorter tape. Cool. So next we have another phaser. And this phaser, as you can see, helps a lot with the format of the sound. In this case, I put it to 142 hertz and it's all the way down. Cool. Next we have this EQing and I'm just boosting around 147 and then I'm cutting right after. Just to help with the shape of the sound. Uh, then we have more OTT. So far this is sounding really cool. Uh, and then I just uh, EQ'd everything. But this was not a decision that I made uh, right after I finished the sound. I actually had it like this. But then I came up with this next layer. And when I was working on that layer, I wanted to fill uh, or to add more harmonics around this area. So what I ended up doing is I took this Reese and I just EQ it uh, this in a way that I just have this frequency so I can stack this with the other layer. Cool. So now for this layer, let me just remove all this post processing. What we have, it's the same setup is there's nothing on the effects on this time, but we have Monster 2 instead of Saw Waves. We have the same detuning. It doesn't sound uh, spectacular. And then we have a lower gain. And again, we have the same erosion, the same filters. But then right after the filter, we have the saturator, which is boosting 28 and bringing down 14. We have a phaser. We have an EQ. 
And then we have a trash, again, just experimenting with the different modes. In this case, uh, I selected slight twist. Doesn't do a lot, but it's, it's just adding more uh, drive and harmonics into the sound. Then we have four OTTs stacked after each other. Um, and as we can see, there are they are all very similar. The first one is 53, 1,000% time, 51, 1,000%. Uh, 53 a thousand percent and then I boosted the output so we have more gain then another one um, and then we have a phaser and again this phaser helps with the format of the sound then we have an EQ boosting uh, the low mids and then uh, bringing down the highs around 4k and then we have another trash and what this trash to looks like, um, it's really not super complicated. We have a multiband mode activated. We have three bands. The first one, it's on the on the sub, 20 to 120. Then uh, kind of low mids area, 120 to 691. Uh, and then highs, uh, which would be 691 up to 20K. And what we have is in the sub, we don't have a lot of boost. In the mids we do, and in the highs we have a lot. So this kind of acts like another OTT in a way that it boosts the mids and the highs. Cool. Uh, the next thing that I have is just a simple high pass. And then boost a boost around the 1K area. And then another on the air, which would be like above 10K. Then uh, I just added this little peaks going down in specific parts of the frequency spectrum. And this is because I was just referencing uh, other peaks um, and cool areas of and other recess that I was just layering with the sound. Cool. So now all these three uh, layered together, they sound like that. Now on top of everything, there's some uh, post-processing or group processing. And I reduced this harmonic right here. Boosted around 1K, boosted a little bit on the very, very highs. I did one more TT. And then I added a little bit of parallel processing with this chain and that I really, really like to use all the time. It's just a dry uh, signal. And then I have a stereo signal, which will be only the highs um, plus has effect. Um, and then I just isolated on uh, the sides. It's very, very subtle, but it adds um, a lot of cool um, width to the sound. Cool. So then once we layer this, we now have a wider sound. Um, then we have a phaser and some EQing at the end. And that is it for the sound. So if we play this, that's the Reese from the track. So yeah, that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you can subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.